is Yolanda and today I would like to demonstrate how to create another easy beginner crochet project. This is a dishcloth and you can use it for of course like scrubbing, washing your dishes, um, wiping down your counters and uh, what's nice about this is that you can throw it into your uh, washing machine and reuse it. It sterilizes in the hot water uh, and it's really have a lot of uses. Um, you can also use it as a dusting rag. This is one I made, a smaller one. It's in yellow. And what's really great about this project is that it only requires three stitches. And so the stitches that we are going to be using, let me show you on a crochet abbreviation chart. The first stitch that we will be using is of course a chain stitch. If you saw this on a pattern, it would be abbreviated CH and then we're going to use a double crochet which is abbreviated BC in a pattern and then a slip stitch which is abbreviated SF and there's a space ST slip stitch. So this is a really great beginning project because there are only three stitches involved. The, the yarn that I'm using, this, like I said, this is a cotton um, yarn and I found this um, really great price at Joann's. I'm sure they have it at other places. I use this Bernat. It's a handy crafter cotton. And here are the stitches yeah. we're going to use. The chain. If I can show you this chain stitch. The double crochet. And then when we get up, gather them together there in between you can see there's a slip stitch. I am using a size J crochet hook. But you can use any size you want. The reason I use this J is because um, this thread is pretty thick. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's pretty chunky. And so I didn't want my my stitches to be super tight because I want this to be able to kind of soap up. So the first thing you do for one this size is we're going to make 25 chains across. And it's really just working in rows. So you just get your, your thread, make your circle, and then loop your hook there. So you got your first chain. And we are going to chain 25 chains. Hold the hook in a way that's comfortable for you. You go under and then you pull it through the center. There's your first chain. Under, pull it. I hope you can see. Under, pull it. That's our third one. And you're going to proceed like this all the way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. When we get to our twenty-fifth chain, in order that we don't lose our space, I like to put my finger there on that last chain there, the twenty-first chain. And then we're going to make two more chains. One, two, we're going to wrap our yarn, our hook around our yarn. And then on the third chain, one, two, three, where you have your finger, we're going to go into that chain and we're going to crochet a double crochet. Go through there, bring out the yarn. You're going to notice that you have three strings on your hook. We're going to bring your hook, come in through two. Now there's going to be two on your hook, and then we're going to do it again. So that is your first double crochet. Let me show you that once again. You get your hook, loop it around the thread. You can also do this in yarn if you want. Go through the second space now, our second chain there. We're going to go through there, go through the back, pull out our yarn. See there's three loops on our hook. Pull to two, pull to two more. That's our second one. And we continue this way all the way through our 25 chains. That's our third one.